So my name is Joelison Castillo, and I am a former Boston Public student. Thank you, thank you. I graduated specifically from the Edwards Middle School, and now I'm going to be a deputy campus director for citizen schools at the Edwards. And I'm really excited about the opportunity, and that's actually where I'm going to start my story, at the Edwards Middle School. So I was a seventh grader at the Edwards Middle School who did not know his ABCs. I did not know my multiplication tables, and I could not process information at like a successful rate. It was, I was living in a world that I didn't believe in myself. I had doubts, but I was living in a world of hopelessness. And even though the Edwards Middle School was like one of the worst schools at that time, it still provided me a game changer. My game changer was Ms. Boucher. Ms. Boucher would always, every single time I misbehaved, correct me. Ms. Boucher will always make me write notes to my mother when I misbehave. Always get on me when I fail the exams or miss homework assignments. Ms. Boucher would correct me, would, me, would make me write notes to my mother saying, your son cannot mind his business while other kids are being disruptive. And I thought to myself, like, I'm getting in trouble for not minding my business and they're disrupting the classroom. <laughs> but what Ms. Boucher really did for me through those years, those two years, she never lowered her expectations for the poor immigrant student from the Charlestown Projects. But the true moment where Ms. Boucher changed my world was when I handed it to her, a uh, fully completed assignment. She looked over it, she corrected it, and then she looked at me and said, wow, you are smart, good job. Now what Ms. Boucher doesn't know, when she walked away, I was in this complete darkness. Everything just blacked out, and I thought to myself, and it hit me for that one moment, wow. That was the first time someone ever called me smart. And I thought about that, like, let's even think about it together, like, I've been in school for eight years, I've been living for 13 years, and that was the first time someone called me smart. Little to say, like, that changed my world. I became to invest myself more into school. I didn't stay after school, I expended my learning time <laughs> by staying after school with her. <laughs> and doing, completing my homework and studying harder for my exams. She transformed me that day. Sorry. And um, so she transformed me that day. And by the end of the first quarter in the eighth grade, I, have, I was removed from all my special education classes and placed into mainstream courses. because of the hard work me and Ms. Boucher did together. By the end of the eighth grade, I was one of the top students at the Edwards. But not only that, I had belief in myself. And most important, I had a dream that no one can take away from me. Ms. Boucher changed my world. She was my game changer. But my passion does not stop there. Even though Ms. Boucher was able to awaken my brain, born my passion, I continued my passion by graduating Northeastern University and entering Teach for America. My goal was to go back to the Edwards to Teach for America, but that didn't really work out. <laughs> but my second year as a teacher at the Prospect Hill Academy, I had a, like one of those teacher's moments that just like changed your life forever. So in my second year, a month into the school year, one of the fifth grade teacher, she quit. She couldn't handle the stress that that fifth grade classroom was doing to her because they were considered one of the most dis disruptive classrooms in that building. So a month into the classroom, three days after she, le she left, and three days after my, one of my TFA trainings, the principal pulls me in. Even though she made it clear that I was the third option to take this new role, the fifth grade math and science, she made it really clear. I did not take that as me being the third best. I saw that as an opportunity to make an impact and to change kids' lives. 
to become a game changer. So I was excited with all these new ideas I just learned from TFA, and the first three days went horribly wrong. <laughs> Every new idea and strategy I tried with these kids did not work. They were looking at me like, where are we going? Like they had no clear directions. They had no belief. They weren't invested at all. And I was losing my mind throughout this whole process. So on Friday afternoon, after they all get dismissed, I did what every stressed out teacher with no answer, no right action should do. Have fun. <laughs> do whatever it takes to get you back in a positive mood. So I went salsa dancing that night. <laughs> the next day, I played competitive sports with my friends, pick up basketball games. Then that same night, I went some more salsa dancing. I just did whatever it took to get me in a positive world again. And that Sunday, what I did was I started coming up, tried to come up with some ideas, but realizing I only had one year experience, so I, that wasn't really working out. So I set up meetings with other teachers. The next three months, I met constantly with the history teacher of the fifth grade who had success with this class. I met with the math team three times a week to create good lesson plans. I met with other teachers from TFA, and I met with a 10-year and 15-year veteran in our school building, just getting ideas for them, asking them for help. And in those three months, and by the end of those three months, something happened. That classroom transformed. With my collaboration with like basically the whole world, <laughs> I, was, I was able to transform that classroom. They went from 20% below the other fifth grade classrooms in certain uh, standards or exams, to only two points or tie with that classroom, with other classrooms. My other homeroom that I was in charge of, they went from third best to number one. And everyone in that building, from principals to even co the custodians in that building, were thanking me on how I was able to transform that classroom. And I did it through collaborations. I did it because I didn't see myself as the savior. I just saw myself as a person who can't give up on them. And I needed help, and I looked for help, and I got help. So one of my biggest, I guess, strength was I've always believed in those kids. And I never believed that there is such thing as a bad kid, a bad student, or a bad classroom. For me, that does not exist. So. For me right now, at this moment, I know I don't believe in those things, but I do believe in changing kids. I do believe in citizen schools and what they're doing. I believe in the collaboration of hardworking educators like yourselves. For my final thought, I leave you with this. In your darkest moments, we need to remind yourself you need to remind yourself, if, if not you, who else? Who else would stand there and teach these kids? Who else would believe in these kids? For me, every day, my passion burns when I remember the third grade teacher who called me stupid. For me, my passion burns every day when I remember it took 13 years of my life to get to someone to call me smart. My passion burns every day when teacher quits on students because quote unquote they're bad, or on classrooms because quote unquote they're bad. In my darkest moments, I always believed in the kids, in the education, and in teachers like yourself. Become the game changer Ms. Bacha was to me. Thank you. <laughs>